So as we follow the flow of the, the Great Lakes water, the, the count of plastics increase so that Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence Seaway have the most plastic of any of the Great Lakes and they're depositing that into the North Atlantic Ocean. with regard to plastics is actually the impact that it's having on organisms, including us. So as um, more and more people are investigating microplastics in the external environment, we've found it everywhere, not only in our water, but it's in our soil, it's in our air, it's in our food. There was a study that just came out talking about how much plastics people are ingesting simply by eating seafood, by drinking water, and, and breathing. The chemicals that are associated with plastics, we know that some of them are carcinogens. We know that some of them are teratogens. That means that they will carry through multiple generations. They're mutagens, so they'll actually mutate your DNA. Um, and they're associated um, or correlated with a number of human health impacts, um, anywhere from increases in ADHD to increases in certain types of cancer to increases in obesity, um, specifically obesity in children under the age of six months. So this isn't, you know, they ate too much at McDonald's and didn't go to the gym. This is literally a reprogramming of our DNA in order to um, hold on to more and store more fat in our bodies. The point is, is that there's no doubt that we are ingesting plastics and the impact it has is still one that we don't fully know. This one's like, it's just white, so it's hard to see against my white skin. They're the width of a human hair. They can make their way across your gastrointestinal tract, be carried through your blood, end up in your liver, your kidneys, and even in your brain. It can be any type of plastic, to be honest. We, we look at any plastic from the big plastic bag to the balloon to the straw down to microplastics, which um, are particles of plastic that are less than five millimeters in size. Um, the most common way of making a microplastic is actually those big plastic items breaking down into these small little bits of plastic. We would use one bottle of water for every person. Before you spoke, we everything was plastic-based. We, over the last uh, several weeks, have been just kind of replacing one thing at a time, one thing at a time. We really have to think about reducing our use of this material. Um, and since single-use disposable plastics make up the dominant uh, form of plastics in our lives, that's really the best place to, to start. And so you start thinking about the bags, the bottles, the straws. Those are things that each and every one of us can reduce our use of, and by reducing our use of it, it reduces the amount that ends up in our waterways. We are the solution to plastic pollution.